Adding users or modifying an existing user in a Shortel PBX is a very straightforward activity. It's easy to implement. Whether you're adding a user or modifying an existing user, first thing you're going to do is point your Windows Internet Explorer, not, Google, not uh, Chrome, and not Firefox, it has to be Windows IE, uh, to the IP address of your Shortel server slash shoreware director. And you put that in the browser, hit character return. You're going to get this screen here. I assume that you have a system administrative privilege and a username and password. I'm going to log in as admin because that's my login to this system. At that point, we come to the navigation page of the shoreware director. On the left side of the screen, you're going to see a variety of links each which will take you to a different configuration page in the system. For purposes of this discussion, we're going to focus on users. If I click on users, I get a new list here. I want to click on individual users, and that's going to show me all of the users in the system. I can see their name, what site they're associated with, what type of personal call manager they have, what their extension number is, mailbox, even what kind of a phone or, or which phone they have. Uh, at this point, if you look at the top left of the configuration screen, you'll see add new user at site. If you have a multi-site system, New York, San Francisco, Texas, um, you're going to pull the drop-down menu here and select the site that you want to add that user to. So in this case, I'm going to add a new user to Studio City. I say go, and I'm presented with a fill-in-the-form uh, type of configuration tool. All you need to do to add a user is enter their first name, their last name, either change or accept the extension the system gives you. Make sure they have an extension in mailbox and hit save. You are done. So we just added Mike Masters to the system. Um, I'll accept 201. Uh, if I wanted to change it to some other extension, I would go ahead and just type it in here. Mike is going to have an extension and a mailbox, as opposed to a mailbox only or just a you know, phone only. Generally, people have an extension and a mailbox. I'm going to hit Save. And at this point, we have added Mike Masters uh, to this PBX system. He's uh, in the site that we added him to. And that is all that is needed to create a user. We can enhance this and add additional capabilities. For example, you will notice a box here for the DID. Let us assume that um, Mike is uh, going to be reachable by an outside phone number uh, that appears on the telephone line of PRI coming into the company. And so 760-444-8801 if you call that number, it will directly ring my get extension 201. That's how we assign a DID number. The next area that you might want to go to is down here where it says the primary uh, port that Mike is assigned to. Now, generally, this is going to be an IP phone. Now, I have no IP phones here, but if I were to hit this drop down list on a system that had available IP phones, you would see the MAC address. What's the MAC address? That's a number on the bottom of the phone. It starts with 001049 and then has uh, six more digits. That will appear here. When you select that here, you will be assigning Mike to that phone. And uh, at the end of the day, that's all it takes to add a user. There are user groups. Generally, you're going to add a user and say that they're part of the management or the staff, or the executive. The, the, these are permissions that define what this user has the ability to do. They were defined at the time your system was installed, and there's really no need for you to get involved with changing them. Just select the privilege level you want to assign to this individual. Make sure that you hit Save. If you don't hit Save, it didn't happen. And that's how we add a new user to the uh, Shortel uh, PBX.
Let's take a look at some advanced configurations for Mike Masters, the new employee that we just added, assigned an extension number, gave him an extension in mailbox, even gave him a DID number, assigned him to the user group called executives. Down here at the bottom of the screen, you will see something called client user ID and client password. What this refers to, if you bring up a Shortel call manager, go under options, then telephony, you will find a username here and a password here. The username and password to activate this personal call manager are actually set up for that user in the area of the user configuration page in which ID and password are defined by you, the system administrator. It's uh, our recommendation at this point to make system administration a little easier. This is extension 201. I'm not going to worry about uh, M Masters or Mike M or trying to remember that as we administer our system over the years. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to change that to 201 so that the client ID and the extension number are the same. So again, back here in the personal call manager, if I go to options, uh, what it's asking me for um, is this username, I'm going to change it to the extension number um, as defined in the user section of the uh, shortware director user setup. This will make system administration a little bit easier for you. This is where you would go to reset the password for that user. Out of the box, the default password is 1234. You're going to repeat it twice. If you check the box here, must change on next login. The next time that user logs into the voicemail system, he will be prompted to change uh, the password. So, just a quick summary, a quick takeaway. What's it, what, what do you need to have to add a user? Uh, you need their first name, their second name, and their uh, extension number as well as giving them a mailbox. Save, you're done. That's all it took. If you want to take it a step further, go ahead, give them a DID if that's appropriate. Go down here, make sure that the client user ID, you'll need this when you go to the desktop to manipulate their call manager. Uh, make sure the password is set. This is a numeric uh, field for entering the voicemail password that they'll use when they log in. That's uh, basically all you need to do to add a user or modify a user in the shortware director.